All right, guys. I don't know if you can see this. Um, a lot of you guys keep asking me about Bitcoin and gold and my predictions and shit like that. Um, hold on. Can you zoom in on this bad boy? Auto log right there. So this is what I mean by Bitcoin actually dropping. Uh, you see this right here? That's a flag right there. We have a strong resistance area right here. Uh, I kept telling a couple of you guys, like, hey, let's start buying, let's start buying. Nobody listened. I'm like, all right, cool. I don't really give a shit. Price took off. As you can see, the daily, and you go by the course, this right here, up, down, up, that alone is telling you that the market is actually bullish, right? So you can continue buying anywhere you want. And then right here in this yellow box area, I have consolidation. There's no new highs and there's no newer lows whatsoever. It's just going sideways. Um, right here, it actually broke out the box. You can see it right there. It actually broke out. Um, this candle right here, this green candle, if I pull up my fifth to level from up here, because this is the highest it's been to the lowest that it's been right, right there. And I draw my box, which I already have. It's that purple one. There's my last up candle before this big drop, right? Eat that crap. There you go. So that's why I'm targeting this candle. So right now I'm still buying, but once it triggers me in, I think I'm like down here to close all my buys and then it's going to trigger my sales. I have a tight, tight stop loss, but I mean, it's a daily. So the, the daily, if, if I bring it all the way down, would be right here. I think I'm going to move my stop losses from here to the, to actually right here to this area. This is so anywhere from where I'm at to right here, I'm looking for sales. But if it breaks this right here and I'm out and then my next candle, it's all the way the fuck over here. This one, which I highly doubt it, but whatever. We'll see. We'll see what, what, what happens. So, yeah. So this right here, this is a flag. Now, uh, which one was it? think from right here yeah look right there if, if i were to add a line you guys see that it's actually a double bottom right there zoom in look at that beautiful double bottom right here it never broke out of this support area and then price started taking off now where was it so on this one I did some buys and I did some sales for like two, three days straight. So I think I bought, once I hit around this area, this is actually a good resistance area right here. So that's a good resistance area. This is where price came up, rejected it, rejected it, and then it broke. So it became into a support. So whenever price came down here to visit, I bought and then price took off beautifully. It did this crap. It did break above, but nothing major. So I got out and started selling. Then I was like, you know what? I'm starting looking for a buy. I took a bunch of hits right around here for the buys because it kept pushing down. But then whenever I did buy, I ended up buying on this one and then price escalated up. And I believe I got out on this one right here, which I do fucking regret but it's no biggie. And then price continued up, up. And then once it got here, you see, you see a little consolidation area going on around right here in this point. And then price broke up and then dropped. Whenever it dropped, you know, I was like, you know what, let me, let me start doing a little box right here, right around there, right? Price continued to escalate down Found another box price took off. So I marked everything. So I started doing this, doing that, doing that, because I saw this figure. So I was like, okay, price is about to shoot up. 
right? Why? Because it's a flag. This is a bullish flag. Price came down. I think I bought somewhere around here. Price took off beautifully this way. When it started uh, tracing down, I had my stop losses right around here. It took me out. Uh, another confirmation that I do get is uh, this moving average right here. You see blue crossed over red. So that's a really, that's a really, really strong signal for me to buy. Um, price came back up. This right here is another fucking box, which I hate because this will take you out anytime. I think I bought somewhere around here. Price went down against me and I was like, cool. I don't really give a shit. It's not going to go down too far, right? I have, I have a strong support area for buys. So this is where I entered, uh, I think it was right here, price went down. I'm like, if I had a stop loss, I'm putting it down here. It's not gonna go too far. What happened, price just came down, missed it and took off. This is another, this is another good flag. Don't know the name of it, but I know my flags, right? So price broke out, it's up here. I keep telling everybody like, dudes, start looking for fucking sales, all right? Remember, we do have imbalance going to my daily. So for those of you that don't understand, this is what I mean by imbalance. This green candle, it stops right here, right? And then you have this big red candle pushing down. Then you have some, uh, some short buys and then price takes off. So in between here to here, it's imbalance. Price will not continue to go nowhere. It, will have to, it has to close this imbalance. And then up here, you have another one from this green candle to this red one. But actually, I'm, I'm going to make it shorter because right there. So now you can see in balance right here. Right there. I would have had it here, but since price came up before it went down. So now you have imbalance in this area. So I got two areas of imbalance, right? But like I say, this is a good area for me to start selling. I am expecting price to drop because, you know, we sell break of structures a lot. Trend lines here, right around here. Travel it up. Boom. Price came, broke it, came back down and actually went above it. Right. So that's a break of structure. So that's one one um, confirmations for you. We have a break of structure. So this, this would be my first one. It would have been this, this flag pattern. This flag pattern, then pushed up, broke structure here, here, here. It went, it started targeting all the highs. Hold on guys, I have uh, my daughter's calling me. Give me one. All right, sorry about that. So yeah. <sighs> I, I know this, the market is way bullish right now, but I don't, I don't trade news. I have a buddy of mine that sent me some stuff for um, Bitcoin actually dropping down to 25K one more time. And you can see 25K would be around, right around, whatever. You get the point, right? So uh, I'll tell everybody, guys, I'm looking for sales here and right here. I am expecting price to drop from here go all the way down to this area now i know this is a strong support but there's money on the bottom sitting and then you have these two areas of uh imbalances right so i'm expecting price to come down here and take this bad boys out fill them before continuing to the upside so whenever price comes back down here these are two areas where you can start loading them up i don't care if they're like pennies just fucking load them up and price is gonna make a new higher high, which is gonna take this one out and then take that one out. Hold on, I have another call. Hold on, guys. So yeah, so that's what I'm predicting on freaking Bitcoin. The other one that I focus on is gold. Gold, gold, you gotta love gold. So I actually bought on this one right here with uh, Lee. We were on the phone, we were, we were texting each other actually. We were buying, it hit this area right here that I had it marked off as a strong resistance and we started selling, right? Then I got out, 
and then price a couple of days later uh decided to drop and it started dropping 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 we were all watching this and i'm like okay i'm looking for buys i'm not looking for sales i'm not actually looking for buys i have this double bottom over here all i did was stretch it out this way and i was like all right cool let's see what happens price actually came down this way respected it and then i think i started entering around this area on strong buys and i bought 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 let's see it's in the hour we could see it clearly yeah on the buys right here i started buying and then i was moving my stop loss with it and i think i had it right here and then whenever it decided to come back down it triggered me out i got back in for more buys and then you could see this wick I, ha I had my my stop losses again right around here this one took me out so i re-entered again for buys on gold right and then price started going up moving my stop losses price went up it's moving my stop losses on everything but once i got to this box right here this little consolidating consolidation area i think this one's the one that took me out and then I re-entered here, moved it, and then I got stopped out over here. So as you guys could see the trend is actually being really, really bullish. Like after all, it's all bullish. Oh, what the hell happened? Yeah, it's an overall bullish, right? But I did tell everybody, guys, we do have a strong, strong resistance area right around here what happened to price got in now it's pulling back out now this right here i am looking for a buy i need price to actually come down here i know it's gonna jump off of this one and then push back up but my good entries that i'm looking for it's actually this red candle this is the last red candle now i'm gonna do a dotted so that's that would be a nice entry for me and then the that area would be the my stop losses on gold i am on funding talent but the bad thing about funding talent is that i cannot trade crypto but i could trade gold right so that's that on gold i am expecting it to go even higher yeah i, I need to break here because because um how can I explain? equal highs right so I have equal highs right here so I'm expecting price to actually jump up and then target this one's this one's this one's and break that one all right so this is what I consider a one two a triple bottom price to go up the next thing I have is Tesla funniest thing about Tesla uh, I told everybody I, I think I told my sisters so I'm like hey if you guys want to trade you know and trade Tesla Tesla is actually pushing, pushing up. I think it was right here. Yeah, I think it was right there in that area. Uh, I asked one of my buddies what they thought about Tesla, and I think it was at 609. So 609 is right around here. I told him, go ahead and buy Tesla. My buddy is like, you know, it's going to drop a little bit before it continues up. I'm like, all right, cool. Price actually dropped to 594, which ain't, it, it ain't a lot. And then price took off to the upside. Look at this. Look at that. Price went up, down. I found a strong support. Took off, came back down. Now it's at 733. Now this is a flag. So this is a freaking flag, guys. So the only bad thing about this is that I'm expecting an, a drop. Hopefully, if it does drop, let's see. No, I'm going to paint it. Yeah, a, so I'm expecting a drop to go this way to around this area and then continue to slowly go up. Don't know what that is, but whatever. <laughs> God damn it. So that's Tesla. The other one that I had, see if I can find it. Quick, uh, Apple, A, A, P. 
NASDAQ, I'm gonna go to this one, close it. Where's Apple? Motherfucker. Yeah, open it up. Try that again, I don't fucking need it. All right, so this is Apple right here. I saw this and I was like, you know what? There's a strong support. If it bounces off of this, I'm gonna start buying. Did not see it coming, but fucking look at this. It was at around 100, dropped down to 118. Price went up. So about 134, came back down from the support area, took off. Can't believe I did not make anything out of, out of freaking um, Apple. But the overall market, it's still it's still bullish whatsoever. Look at this. Remember, we use trend lines as a wall. So price went up, came down to this wall, couldn't break it, went up, trusted it, nothing. Came back down later on to the same area that I say it's a wall. Did not break it, went up, nothing. Broke this resistance right here, turned it into a support, and it's still continuing up. Uh, do I know where it's going to go? No, I really don't because the market starts from $10, freaking $3 back in, 2000, damn, 2009, a dollar, wow, wow, it's crazy, but yeah, as you guys can see, there's no history behind it, like Apple has been, man, I didn't know Apple was that cheap. But uh, now look at it. It's all the way up here. Freaking beautiful, guys. I cannot tell you if it's going to drop. I do not know. I don't read. If there's no history behind it, guys, I cannot read. The only thing I can tell you is that moving averages cross and you're good for a go. Right? That's all I can say, guys. That's Apple. So I missed out on Apple, which is it's cool. Whatever. There's always opportunities. I ain't gonna worry about it. This one right here, this, uh, I told my buddy, I'm like, let's start selling. You know, it's a US dollar with the Mexican peso. US dollar, Mexican peso. It dropped. You see this green line? That's my entry point. Look at that. Came, touched it, and now it's pushing up. This is my stop loss. I can't be looking at my, at my phones all the time since uh, I'm at work what the hell uh give me a one quick minute again guys all right sorry about that i had to take this call again usd czars so on this one it's kind of hard to freaking read sometimes but uh yeah so i found this support area right here price came back later on respected it went back up right now we're in the exact same area missed it uh shit i don't know if i should actually buy on this one since the overall trend is super strong to the downside super strong this one that least it goes up cuts and then shoots up but this one is a fucking aggressive one might take a couple buys uh if price comes back down and, and touches here or in here i'll probably enter again and put my stop losses down here but yeah and then this is another area that i'm looking at because this is a box so if price breaks it let's say it goes down up whatever and then continues down this would be my area where i'm gonna be buying again um usdzar you know is that african money and then dogecoin i haven't been looking at this whatsoever um where was it yeah, so I saw this pattern on Dogecoin pushing down. This is, a, this is a pull and there's your flag. I told my buddy, hey, if, if it hits 26 cents, it doesn't matter. It just has to say 26. Enter for the buys. Hopefully he did listen. And now price, it took off, came back down. I found this little wall right here, my little trend. And now price is actually taking back up. It's at 31 cents. You know, all it's doing is going up, taking out the previous, previous size. So this, this would be another area for take profit. This one's right here, beautiful equal highs, take profit. Then you have this equal highs, take profit. 
This is my main one, which is at 35 for right now. Let's see, the four hour. Yeah. So I'm actually looking at about a cup formation forming here. This is what I'm looking at. Hopefully that happens. And then what do we expect? Price to go back up. So that's my prediction on Dogecoin right there, guys. Tesla. Did we talk about Tesla? Yeah, we talked about Tesla. US 30. So US 30 is kind of hard to read. Um, yeah. Th this is pretty hard to read, guys. This is so fucking hard to read. I cannot find anything on it. The only thing I could say is that um, it is risky. I know a couple of my buddies do trade this. I used to trade it. I, I do a lot of buys down here, you know, boom. But it comes to a point where I don't have anything. I don't, I don't have supports. I don't have resistance. I could probably find a banker's candle. Really, really hard for me. Yeah, so I, I, I don't really do much with uh, US 30. So right here, I mean, quick analysis on it. Probably put it around that area. Just straight consolidations right here. If it does drop, probably this will be an entry. Probably, I'm not saying that it, that it is. I'm just saying maybe. Reasons being that it's the last down candle before the big push to the upside. Uh, change colors. Entry, and then that would be my my stop loss right there at the bottom. Red, quick fib. And look at that. <laughs> I use the 71, 78. So every time I use the 71, 78, I will find a candle and there's my candle guys. So yeah, I'm looking for buys now on US 30. If it drops, that's where I'm looking for to buy. I do have a stop loss. Wow, this shit's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, the only reason I put it there on that FIB is because price was going up. And then what happened? It went down and broke this. And it broke that right there. Went boom, dropped it. It disrespected the trend. And then it dropped again, dropped as much as it could, taking out all these equal lows. Now price went back up, right? So before it continues back up, it, it's going to drop one more time. It's going to take out this red candle. It's a sell order. It's going to have to take it out and then continue up. So US 30 looks pretty good now, but I don't really trade it that much. What do we have over here? I missed out on this one. It kind of sucks. I did my box. I did my analysis. I was like, all right, whenever price leaves, it's going to come back down, touch this area and take off. Price came back down, triggered, but I wasn't not in this trade whatsoever. So I can't, like I said, guys, I cannot be looking at my phone 24 seven. I do work, but uh, yeah. So I try to only focus on two things, which is just Bitcoin and uh, gold those are the two ones both of them that i actually look at the most while i'm at work but when i'm at the house i'm able to look at every freaking chart but yeah that's the quick things of what i do